Hello, I'm Steve Troy with Troy Industries. Today I'm here to talk to you about our folding battle sight lineup. Since 2003, Troy has been the world standard for folding battle sights, or backup iron sights as commonly known. I'm going to explain some of the reasons why that is. So we're going to start with our standard folding rear sight. This is constructed of T6 aluminum and stainless steel, hard coat anodized finish, as well as black oxide on the stainless steel. Not only is it it's constructed uh, of really strong materials, the engineered design has made it virtually indestructible. And the way we've accomplished that is through our cross-locking system where we have a stainless steel cross-lock that rides and locks on stainless steel pins. We've also put a redundant feature interior of the site with a locking wedge. So it comes up true every time. Consistency is accuracy and this thing will lock to the same position every time. Notice that the aperture in it flips. What's critical to know about this is it's called a same plane aperture. Many people want to be able to engage in the zero to 300 range, don't want that shift in point of impact through the change of aperture. So we've taken that out. So you have your choice of a large hole aperture, which is the 200,000th, and then you have your small hole aperture for more of a focused, fine, precision shot. Most often it's left on the zero to 200 because these are known as backup iron sights. We also have the dioptic aperture, which is a diamond shaped. We're gonna explain a little bit about that as we get further down the lineup as to why the diamond shape can be called superior for some, some reasons. Uh, it really comes to personal preference, but maybe after I explain, you'll be a fan. On the front sights, we have two style of front sight housings. We have the standard M4 front, which mimics the standard M4 carbine, or M16, which is familiar to most shooters. And we have what we call the HK style globe front. So there's pros and cons to both of these. The V shape, most people are very familiar with that, and it comes up uh, a lot more easily, and their sight picture is really me memory, so they're gonna go with this. It also allows you to put your target in the center of the V, and it brings your post in alignment. The globe sight works perfectly with our round aperture rear. And what that allows you to do is to do a circle on a circle. You throw it up on target, just line up your two circles for close in shooting, it's perfect, it comes up fast. The diamond works best with the V-shaped front because it's right angles and it's more straightforward on the front and it'll settle better into the diamond. We also offer these same sights in the micro version. So the micro version, as you can see, is a little bit shorter than our standard. And the reason for that, it was designed is for the HK416 family of, of rifles and carbines and the SCAR family of rifles and carbines. With those rifles, the Picatinny rail on the receiver rides higher than it does on an M M4 or an M16 carbine. So what that does for you is allows you to have the exact same cheek weld and sight alignment as you would on an M4. So you don't have to be chin on stock, you can get right in, nestle in in the pocket. As you're used to, it's common on the M16 series. We also have the, these sites that we just reviewed available in tritium. So tritium is a nuclear byproduct that's sealed inside of a contained vessel and then inserted into the sites. This is the front site, this is the rear site. They're both available micro and standard folding sites with the M4 front, with the diamond rear, or the circular rear, rear with the uh, globe front. So your choice. The, Benefits, of course, of tritium are low light shooting. And we find these are common, commonly used in law enforcement. They've been on law enforcement handguns for probably 25 or 30 years. So we chose to bring them over to the carbine. And they've been a great seller for us. With the rear sights, we leave these a little bit smaller because when you come up on a rear sight, it's closer to your face than a handgun sight. If we were to use the same diode that we use in the front, it would boom your eye and take away your night vision capability. So by reducing the size of these was strategic in order to be able to provide that soft glow in the rear, but to be able to focus on your front sight and see it clearly. Now we're gonna move into our offset sights. The offset sights were a product that we designed for our participation in the US Army CSAS program, Compact Semi-Automatic Sniper System. We did win the contract on the sites and we're proud to be working with H&K and delivering on these monthly for the new M110A1 CSAS rifle that they produce. 
They are available in the same options that you saw in the folding sites and they're commonly seen with the diamond sight and we're going to explain that now as to why. The offset sights are designed to work with a scoped rifle. Most uh, high grade sniper rifles are not quick detached scope mounts. They're a clamp or bolt on sc scope mounts such as the M110A1. So when your scope fails, becomes dirty, occluded with mud, or you have a close contact or some way that you need to engage a target that's closer, the scope isn't gonna be the option. So what we provide is an offset sighting system that just simply goes up, locks in the upright position, and allows you to come out of your scope, tilt the gun to 45 degrees, and to be able to engage targets at close range. The diamond sight shape allows you to actually level the rifle to the same position every time. So I can grab my horizon in front of me by lining up the corners of the sight flat on the horizon. This works very well on the offsets. It also works extremely well on carbines. And we see basically it's shooter's taste and preference. Most shooters have been exposed to most of their, their career to the round rears and the V fronts. So they're comfortable with that, they stay there. We find that people who try the diamond-shaped dioptic apertures seem to migrate towards those pretty quickly because they understand how it works and they get that sight picture down and then they work with it. But they're available for, for both, both styles and, and all shapes and series of sights that we have. We also offer the fixed rear sights. These have been very common with the advent of the modern patrol rifle with free-floated handguards. We find that law enforcement agencies that aren't going towards a red dot optic or any type of optic, they want to have iron sights on their rifle that are low profile, snag free, and are mounted and sighted and forgotten about. And that's what these are. These are really hard use sights. They have full length foot and clamp on each side that grab the Picatinny rail over one inch of grab on each side. And the screw is built right in so there's not a separate clamp. It just goes on, installs, torques, and that's where it stays. So there are the same options again of uh, HK front versus an M4 uh, front and the rear can be ordered in dioptic or in circular. So these are the sights. Uh, you know, they've, they've definitely come a long way since uh, we started in 2003. We're proud of the uh, use that they have downrange, uh, both on the military side, the federal sides of the house. Uh, and again, we, we have a large law enforcement presence, but it's the American shooter that has done this for us. And uh, these sites have become the standard in many OEM builds and people have continue, continuously asked for and select them. I and we really appreciate that. And our team here at Troy is very proud of what we do and we'd love to hear from you about it. Thank you. There is only one name to remember, Troy.